gentlemen, it is week five NFL season, and I am here to try to help you win some money. Now, full disclosure, I am not a betting genius. I rely mostly on my gut and what I think is possible to happen, and I read some statistics, and I base it off of that. Let's get into it. Starting with the first game, the Bills versus the Jaguars. Bills are favored by five and a half in London, 8.30 a.m. game, over under at 48 and a half. Buffalo's covered three out of four games, 1-2 when being favored. Buffalo has scored at least 37 points in the last three games as well. Jacksonville scored nine when it played a defense that ranked anywhere near as high as the Bills. I'm taking Buffalo to cover and the outright win. And I'll be on the over, but I'm not confident in it. Keep that in mind. Game three, we got the Titans versus the Colts. Uh, Colts are favored by one right now. Over under set at 42 and a half. Colts have a mediocre pass defense, and that's kind of what Ryan Tannehill excels against. Uh, but AR is hard to predict. I, I expect a high-scoring affair. Take the over, stay away from the pick -em. Game four, Ravens versus Steelers. The Ravens are currently favored by five and a half. Um, that, that number has moved down to three and a half and back and forth. Over under might be the lowest of the week at 38 and a half. Um, this is always kind of the hardest matchup to pick. I'm staying away from this one, uh, but if I have to for show, I'll take the Steelers in the over. Panthers versus Lions, game five. Lions are favored by nine and a half right now. Over under set at 44 and a half points. This is a rested Lions team going up against a struggling quarterback in a mediocre offense. At the same time, Goff's going up against a struggling secondary. I'm, I'm going to take the Lions to cover, but I'm going to take the under on this one. Game six, we got the Falcons versus the Texans. The Falcons are currently favored anywhere from a two to one and a half points. Uh, over under set at 41 and a half. Desmond Ritter is the biggest question mark in this game. CJ Stroud isn't, though. The Falcons are currently ranked fifth in the NFL in defense, so depending on how he plays against his first real defensive test since week one, the Texans could run away with this thing. That's my pick, and I'll take the over as well. Game seven, I got the Giants and the Dolphins. Dolphins are favored by 11 points. I think that's the biggest spread this week. Over under set at 49 and a half. Dolphins were the hottest team in the NFL before last week, and then they got smacked in the mouth. The Giants are in shambles. Give me the Dolphins to cover as my lock of the week and stay away from the over-under because what is New York? In my eighth game of the week, we got the Cardinals and the Bengals. The Bengals are currently favored by three somehow. Over-under set at 44 points. I'm not ready to stop believing in Joe Burrow yet. However, they are dead last in net yards per play. The Cardinals are a sneaky underdog pick this week, but I'm rolling with Joe Burr and an angry Jamar Chase. Bengals the money line, and I'll take the over. In the ninth game of the week, we got the Eagles and the Rams. Might be the most eager contest for betting this week. Over under set at 50 and a half. I, listen, I know the Eagles are going to win this game, but the question is, are the Rams going to keep it closer than four and a half? Matt Stafford is throwing the ball like no one else in the NFL right now. Cooper Cup might be back. Puka Nakua. Kyron Williams. I mean, that Rams offense just looks electric right now. Their defense can't keep up with a, a crazy Eagles offense. But I'm going to take the Rams to cover that 4.5. Over 50.5. Give me the Eagles for the outright win. Jets-Broncos. Maybe a game nobody cares about this week. Or maybe a game that everybody should. I mean, betting-wise... Broncos right now are favored by one and a half over under set at 43 and a half. The Jets looked like a contender last week when they took the Chiefs to the brink. Honestly, Zach Wilson, he outplayed Pat Mahomes. Now, Superman's allowed to have a bad day, but I mean, if, if Zach Wilson shows up again like that, that I don't I don't know if this mediocre Bear or Broncos defense that, that gave up 28 in the first half to the Chicago Bears last week can keep them down for an entire game. Especially with a, a potent running offense with Dalvin Cook and Brees Hall. So, give me the Jets for an outright win, and give me the over on this one with uh, a defense that's in shambles and a defense that is supposed to be good but isn't really playing as well as it should be. Next, we got the Chiefs and the Vikings. Over under set at 52 and a half. The Chiefs are favored by five and a half. 
This feels kind of like a, a high-scoring trap affair. And what I mean by that is this this feels like the Minnesota team that is 1-3 and three against the Chiefs team that is 3-1. and one, And this game shouldn't be close in a lot of ways. But for some reason, whenever you have Kirk Cousins who's firing on a lot of cylinders right now, with a potent offense of Justin Jefferson, TJ Hawkinson, and Jordan Addison, you pair that up with the fact that the Vikings defense does show up from time to time, I think the Vikings can keep this one close. I think the Chiefs win, but I'm going to take the Vikings to cover that 5.5. Over the 52.5 easily, though. I feel like both of these defenses struggle to stop scoring. This should be a high-scoring affair. I'm looking for like a 38-31 type game. Next, we got the Cowboys and the Niners. Over under 45, the Niners are favored by 3.5. Listen. I think the Niners... Because they rank 17th in passing D this year, I think Dak Prescott's going to have somewhat of a day. Now, I don't want to get Cowboy fans excited because I don't think you guys are going to win this game. The Niners, rather, are dominating in every way right now, especially with Christian McCaffrey. And if he can find a way to slice up the Dallas defense, it's going to be a long, long day for Dallas. The, if that defense can stop the boys long enough, especially since they've been struggling to score as is, I easily see the Niners winning this one covering, and I see the over. Final game of the week, we got Packers versus Raiders. Over under set at 44.5. Packers are favored by 1.5 somehow. Coming off of a outing where the Packers hurt offensive line, got throttled by a ferocious Lions line, they face Max Crosby this week. And Max Crosby's a dog. <sighs> Las Vegas has struggled on D thus far, but if they can get to the Packers quarterback and the Packers can't stop the run, give me the Raiders and give me the over on Monday Night Football. Real quick, if you are a better and you're looking for some props this week that I think are guaranteed to hit, I got a couple for you. Number one, you can easily parlay together these two and I think you'll be okay. You might not even get the best odds for it, but I'm almost guaranteeing it's a hit. You can go with a Justin Jefferson anytime touchdown and a Travis Kelsey anytime touchdown in that game. Chiefs Vikings. 100% I have no problem believing that that could hit. The other prop bet this week that I would feel very comfortable in is Dak Prescott over 240 and a half yards. And that might vary anywhere between 247 and a half down to 232 and a half depending on what site you're betting on. But he has gone over that mark 3 out of 4 games so far this season and he's played some decent defenses so far. If you like this content, make sure you drop that like down below, comment down below, let me know what your uh, bet of the week is, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.